Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue the Bitcoin wallet series and we're going to look at Bither. Once we've finished looking at it, we're going to rank it on the Bitcoin leaderboard at the end of the video. To get the Bither Bitcoin wallet, you go to bither.net. The homepage looks nice, but it's rather simple. There's no sort of menus or documentation or help links that I can find. This is the first Bitcoin wallet I've reviewed so far that actually is available on the Apple platform, such as iPhone, there's Android, and it supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's grab the Windows version. When you run it, it doesn't look like it has an installer. It simply opens up to this platform here. Let's try going through some of the menu options. The first one is this HD account. No idea what this is meaning, but I'll say OK. Password of wallet. Let me try password. Oh, OK. It's getting me to draw some random stuff. That must be for entropy. This must be my wallet address here. Nothing is that clear to me. All right, let's try. And there's obviously a QR code. What happens if I click on that for scanning? Let's try uh, the next button, new. All right, let's say OK and see what this does. I'll enter password as well. Looks like it's running Java. OK, it's getting me to draw for entropy again. I'm not sure what that does either. It's created, I've got one hot wallet from before. I'm assuming watch only is for watching a hardware wallet. So you can see transaction come in. Let's export do. These aren't very clear to me as well. So obviously exporting, importing some information. Private keys, what's under more? Right, change password, what's vanity address? It's not very obvious what this does for me. Let's go back and look at some more of the options. Advanced options. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't have guided transaction fees and you have to just say how much to pay each time. Exchange rate providers. So who to get the exchange rates from, the exchange rate you want to use. I'm not finding this very intuitive at all. Verify message signature. Oh, not sure how this one's meant to work. Yes. So this is obviously other people I'm talking to. It's under blocks. Right, I'm not sure what this is meant to mean. Am I downloading blocks? I'm going to guess that is to donate to them. I don't see any way in this interface on how to send Bitcoin. So presumably you copy this address and receive Bitcoin. How do you then go and send Bitcoin? I can't see any way to specify what node you want to use or control who it's talking to. And there doesn't appear to be any lightning support. It does appear to be a self custody wallet and it looks like it only supports Bitcoin. Because of this export and input it look, oh, and watch only, it looks like it might support hardware wallets in some kind of way but I don't see the hot wallet functionality looks like it's crippled like for instance I can't see how you tell it to send funds there's no way there's no right click or nothing so I don't see any way you can do address rotation it is open source I've seen their web page has a github link I don't see any options for supporting things like coin join or multi-sig if I click back on one of these again and I go HD account there's this option called seed phrase and when you put the password in it does come up with a seed phrase I'm not sure whether this is BIP39 or not I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say uh, yes when it comes to the latest scoring but these could just be random words as well when it comes to fee control I see very few options there was only the option for manual control there doesn't appear to be RBF or child pays for parent support either let's score the on the leaderboard okay so so this is the first Bitcoin wallet that's managed to score 10 out of 10. It has Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, and iOS support. When it comes to network support, it scored zero. I can't find any way of specifying custom nodes. It doesn't support testnet to create test transactions. There's no lightning support, and I found the interface quite hard to use, so no bonus points. Under security, it does appear to be a self-custody wallet, and it is Bitcoin only. It is a hot wallet. I'm going to have to be, give the benefit of the doubt here and give it a point for cold wallet support only because it appears to be able to import and export a separate key. This is probably being a bit generous saying this is true and giving it a point here. I can't see any options around address rotation. It is open source. I can't find any in information to suggest it supports coin join or multi-sig. The interface is poor and I can't award it any bonus points here. Wallet portability looks actually quite good. It looks like it generates can generate a BIP39 address and it can export them and there was also a private key import function. There's no documentation or instructions and the menus will look quite difficult to use so I won't be awarding any bonus points here. So 9 out of 10 for wallet portability. E-Control. 
bit hard to say for some of these because uh, there's no test net support any way for me to really test these i only saw a manual feed control option there was no guided feed control no rbf support or child pays for parent and the lack of help or menus to make things clear so it gets them just two points out of ten on the leaderboard this gives it a average score of five the lowest score so far and to be honest this was probably being a little bit generous in a couple of the categories are you a bit of a user i'd love to know could you leave some comments below i feel like i've missed something the wallet just seems terrible to me i don't know why anyone would want to use it thanks for watching i'm going to leave some videos around my head hopefully you'll find some of those others of interest